enough hot air for you people? Because there's more! But wait, there's more. He's Hages, I'm Hallrow, this is the High, Low, and No Show, and we continue with the big reveal of our 69 Greatest Humankind Achievements. Coming back at you with the remaining at-large bids, which right. we'll give you a little description of what that is. Me and Hall, we both had our own lists of our 36. We went over in the last episode 23 that we agreed upon. Uh, this is the remaining entries of that list that get in. If it's in my top 36 or Hall's 36, it's in the tournament. Automatic at-large uh, bids. Lord knows we've here. talked about it enough. So we trust each other with the stuff that we knew we wanted to be in the 36. That's it. We had the 23 that we already agreed on unanimously. This is the rest. And I'm going to argue some of these will actually be top four bids. Yeah, there's no bit, question with, that these are high seeds still, you know? Still high seeds. So, and the idea is that each one of these 69 teams is going to be assigned a 1 through a 16. They're going to be put in a bracket to match up against other seeds in a single elimination format to boil down to the one, number one, single greatest human achievement, discovery, paradigm shift, invention, wildcard, what have you, of all time. And we're on our way. We've already done 23. That means we're on 24. Come in rapid action now, you know, because we really got to keep it up, speed it up, make it expeditious. And the fact of the matter is, is we've got 23 heavy hitters. Now comes 24 through 69. We've got another 46 for you in short form. Yes. You'll learn about these teams more when they get into the into their games. But just for the sake of getting through the rest of the selection. Just get us through it already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, once again, in alphabetical order, there, this has no bearing on seeds the way that we're presenting these to you. All right, so don't get your panties in a bunch. At the top of the list, starting with the A's, we have AI, artificial intelligence. Not Alan Iverson. It might be a little premature to get into the bracket, but nonetheless... It is a newcomer in the last couple... It is inside of all the phones that we carry in our pocket this right. day and age. Right. Auto-correct. I mean, come on. Computer intelligence, computers are going to get smarter, computers are thinking like human beings, critical, rational thinking, what have you, and it's only going to get worse, it's only going to get more pervasive, it is a huge upsetter on the come up, it's like, I, I can't even mention, I, I mean, I, I can't even come up with a metaphor for it right now. I mean, It doesn't matter, the metaphor will come in future episodes. Right. Agriculture. Duh, no Next. brainer, we were hunter-gatherers, now we're, you know, farmers and Move math right, right, right beyond that, right? You know, it, it's just, it's hard to even think that it's a remaining at large bid, right? But you know, we'll see how the seeding you plays think out about for food, all clothing and shelter. Well, that's food, man. So I mean, there you go. But we used to be agrarian societies. Now we just grow our food on Amazon, so it doesn't matter. It's, that's where it comes from. Yeah. Next up, art. Art. You know, art can't spell heart without art. You know, art. Nietzsche said, "We have art so that we not die of reality." And I think that's true. Art's a, a particular favorite of mine. That's why it's in caps. I think art is, is, is an expression of the human experience. So there's really a lot of bad art. There's some fine art. There's high art. There's low art. This, in and of itself, podcast, is an art form. Think about that. Yes. Next up on the list, astronomy. Astro. Anonymy. Yes. The city of the stars. Yeah. I think, I think we had stargazing already in the top. But astronomy, it takes it to the next level. Um, it the helps. mathematics of the system. And, right, yeah, space it, travel, satellites, all that other fun stuff depend on astronomy. Stargazing to a scientific level, perhaps redundant, but more or less, in and of itself, a science. Yes, and up next, a very controversial entry. Either love this one or you absolutely hate it. <laughs> Good old fashioned birth control. You're right. What a, what a polarizing force in the in the sports in in the, in the humankind mankind madness. You know, in the field, you can believe that this will be a crowd favorite, or yeah. not, or, or lots of boos and jeers to this one. I mean, birth control. We both kind of came up with this one, I think, but only only one of us left it on, um, which would be you. But uh, I think it's 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 kind of a funny thing. I mean, mankind, we're we're all here because we got born, right? But there's a huge piece of mankind that says, "Hey, hey, we don't want people to be getting born." Yeah. So we're not talking about abortion here, folks, as much as we're talking about 
condoms and 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 the birth control pill and the IUD and and any the the, the rhythm method anything that mankind has done because everybody be having sex and we talked about erotica and, and basically the procreation of species this is basically how how can we avoid having a baby every time we got a fuck absolutely another controversial entry the good old fashioned black plague and a <laughs> hundred people wrote a, a, a list of these teams that are supposed to get into this bracket. I don't think a lot of people put Black Plague, but it's very high on my list. As you can see um, on your screen, the the um, the uh, the entries that have lowercase letters in are uh, my entries that are in yeah. the at-large area. And in I the have all caps. caps. Yeah, all caps. So I, uh, I, I actually think it had a much bigger impact than most people probably think. On well, it set the tone, evolution. like we talked about, for sanitation, for medicine, for other things. But also, we're taught in school that there are three major corrections that, that the planet Earth does to manage human overpopulation. And that could be a vis-a-vis -vis overpopulation, because the Black Plague was a major recorrection. There's also war and famine and, you know, disease is it, you know, outside of force majeure and natural disasters. So those are all things that really... Recreate, recorrect the overpopulation. Black Plague did that for, for most of Europe and Africa for, you know, in the Middle Ages. Absolutely. Moving on, uh, the, the good old-fashioned camera. Hello, here we are. Hey. Can you see me? Here we are. Smile. Is that enough set? I mean, come on. Yeah. No, 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 no movies, no photographs, no, no, you know, yeah, exactly. Most importantly, no video, no Netflix without a camera. So go fuck yourself without a camera. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I As, get, I'm getting a little more coarse here, folks, because we've moved through a lot of the stuff. It's yeah. time to time to we're, just we're actually getting be impatient a as well. So we're, we're getting we're getting through this. But what little kid didn't want to have a couple test tubes when you're ki a kid? Test tubes are so magical when, yeah. when you're a little kid, yeah. which leads us to our next entry: chemistry. Chemistry, right? Like mixing two different components together. Let's see what happens. Pop is it going to yeah. blow up or is it going to just fizz out? I don't know. But I'm going to mix the two damn things together regardless. That's why it's on in the at bid remaining list. Not just that, but you know, you think about chemistry, alchemy, the fact that they used to try and turn, you know, some kind of ore into gold. Basically, they, they've, there's so many different permutations of this but also jesus you know he turned water into wine he's the ultimate chemist so um there you go chemistry chemistry people got to have it you know are these teams going to have chemistry let's hope that the chemistry team <laughs> at least has chemistry in order to play together and win their their matchup yeah next the combustible engine which just has a, a slew of star players on its team the as automobile yeah the bus the train Whatever, no, actually, steam, the train's actually a steam engine, but we're kind of classifying okay, engine, them all combustion engine, fuck it. in the same engine category. <laughs> <laughs> spontaneous combustion, notwithstanding, that could really ruin their 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 bid if they spontaneously combust. Well, yes, yes, we'll see how that plays out. And and Lord knows that some of these uh, these matchups will create some combustible conversation between Hages and Hall Row. Yes. And possibly some electricity, right? There you which go. is the next on the at lid bid remaining list. I don't even think we really. You can have be to talk Edison, I'll right? be Tesla, AC, DC, alternating current, direct current. You know, we're we're here in the lights. You're here getting filmed because of electricity. Why did electricity fall this far down? I think almost because because it, you didn't put it. It's a lowercase entry. That means it's yours, right? Yeah. <laughs> I oh, because I didn't match it. You up. didn't match it up. That's funny. Well, I think we, mostly because, hey, if somebody turned pulled the plug, then human humanity's still going to move on. Yeah. Next up, your entry, evolution. That's right, evolution. And it's a Darwinian concept that kind of created the idea that, hey, man has evolved. We, 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 maybe we weren't always man. And you can see plenty of other species that saw that coming. And it, it kind of pigeon you know, dovetails or... Uh, uh, with with religion at some level, and it yeah. definitely conflicts with it. It's a huge uh, red herring, not red herring. It, it's a huge divider, and I certainly think that where you ha whereas you have religion, you got evolution, and you hope that they can learn how to play better, and that, that as the season goes on, 
that they've learned to evolve and, and, and be better. Um, the haters are going to want Evolution to play birth control first round. Oh, get one Evolution of those. Evolution versus birth control. Wow. Out. Great matchup. Um, that's funny. When we start talking about matchups, there you go. So that's just a good, you know, just an aside. We're going to look to see these these entries are going to play each other in a battle royale winner take all format to boil it down. So just like he said, Evolution and birth control could match up against each other as a one and a, you know, 16 seed or a five and a 12 seed or a seven and an eight seed. It could be a seven, eight. And, and, and it would be wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And, you, you know, it's up to us to decide which one's going to play through. Yeah. And that's the evolution. Think about this. This is the evolution of debate, evolution of podcast, evolution of a tournament, and an evolution of a bracket all in one thing. And that's thanks to Hages and Hallbrook right here. So you're welcome. And another thing that is, is always evolving is good old-fashioned humor. Humor, yeah. <laughs> humor will go out of style Typically, in this day and age, 10 to 20 years after the joke's presented. Right. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? But yeah, humor, humor. there's never enough humor in the world. Sometimes it's a dire place, and, and a little levity goes a long way. Comedy movies are perhaps the best out there. And in my mind, like you said, I mean, a good laugh, a, a belly-aching laugh, is as endearing and as difficult as a, a, a you know a heartfelt cry and the fact of the matter is is it really emotive you know humor yeah. you know if if you laugh generally it's because you didn't have a choice it's an involuntary response and humor is is one of the highest forms of art perhaps yeah, it's uh, ready to upset any any team in this bracket it's no laughing matter i'll tell you that <laughs> he's uh, laughing see hey, there you go next, that's what i'm yeah. saying i mean Next up, the good old-fashioned internet that we are streaming to you live. It used or, to be called the interweb, by the way. Inter I like the interweb. The still. World Wide Web. But we've uh, we've grown up. <sighs> Net neutrality it. notwithstanding, Ajip, what is his name in the FCC? Fucking Corpo, Federal you know, Communications Commission, fucking censorship. Fuck you. The internet's for everybody. It was created as a bunch of ones and zeros transmitting information across the globe at light speed. Thanks to fiber optics. You know, you're not going to have... And it will be a battle for internet to survive the right. way it is in this day and age. And they're going to also battle in this tournament, without a doubt. So you might say to yourself, why is the internet not the one seed? I mean, why has the internet not been talked at already? Well, we'll find out. That's yeah. what that's what the damn debate's all about. If we have misjudged this, you're still going to find this these at top seeds, more, more than likely. My question is, are you a millennial? And I'm thinking that probably 80 to 90% of you that say, why isn't it in the agreed-upon top seed? probably why think about the gutenberg press that we introduced in the previous unanimous the gutenberg press was the original internet just go there okay and then we can move forward and we're going to move forward with good old-fashioned math one plus one equals two and it always will equal two unless you're radiohead and you play the song two plus two equals five right or uh, Jimi hendrix you know if six was nine think about that 69 teams in the bracket that we're presenting to you right now. But yeah, math, math is, is, is a simple, uh, it's a construct that spans the globe. And it's, it really needs no language to understand. It's, it's, it's definitive. Yes. There, there's two of us. There's yes. one screen. It's a perfection that plays in math that uh, teams probably don't want to play that perfection. It's a binary culture. There's ones and zeros. That's it. That's it. Yes. Moving on to the next team that has a lot of star players once wow. again, media. Media. We have TV. We have radio. We even have the internet. Like the internet sleeping in man. two different beds with. I mean, two different teams. To me, we introduced TV and radio, and I thought about the actual mechanism, the actual technology that is a television or a radio. And hey, just over here is thinking, well, what's what's it used to produce? What's what's it distributing? You know, what are you receiving? Through a radio, while well, you're receiving, a, you know, ye old fashioned radio broadcast, or you know, through the TV, you know, coming through loud and clear. Um, so certainly, the media that comes out that, and now that in this day and age, you don't even use a TV, you use a computer or a smartphone. You don't even have a cable provider anymore, or antennas to go get your satellite feed or your radio broadcasts. Media has been a large part of the human experience over the last 60 years. But, you know, you got to choose your media. It has to. Yes. It's a I big don't know category. If that social media or not. I think social media is separate. 
but uh, we'll have to get to that. Yeah, we will. We'll have to discuss that. Uh, another rather kind of shocking, vague yeah. entry. Shocking. The next entry, medicine and surgery. It's that, another. You know, very... I was just responsible for that. You know, L caps. We we talked about penicillin. You know. Uh, yeah, but I yeah, it, there's a place for it. It should be in the the at large. I think about um, medicine because there's preventative medicine. There's wellness these days. I know healthcare debate's a big deal in America, and there's you know, primary uh, healthcare around the world is much better. You have Western medicine, Eastern medicine. Then again, are they going to play well on the team? You know, are they going to have the chemistry like the religion Nobody knows. team has? Like, you're going to have acupuncture playing on the same team Somebody as Western medicine? Somebody needs to get on medicine. Who knows? Who knows? They're going like, to, you know. But it'll, we, they could upset, they'll definitely upset a team. Think about it. Jordan had his best uh, game with the, the flu, so you don't know. Um, yeah. We, we, humans, you know, you're only as good as, as your health, and medicine was a large part of that. But, you know, surgery, I put that in there because, you know, Autopsies, cutting people up, transplants, moving people's organs from dead people to live people. You know, somebody needs a liver. I'm going to share it with you. It's it's awe inspiring. And medicine has always, uh, you know, the Hippocratic oath has always been about saving lives. And these days, hopefully, that, that it continues. You know, because you need all the medicine you can get. But I don't think big medicine, big pharma, pill popping, um, eugenics, like you talked about when we were dealing with the CRISPR deal, you know, has, you know, people are sick, people have cancer. I mean, Jesus, medicine is a huge part of the the human experience, but all the way back to like snake oil salesmen or, you know, people using leeches to draw blood or it's, 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 it's a fantastic quandary. It's a black hole of a seed. And I agree. Yeah, it's maybe yeah. too vague. Maybe too yeah, vague. Who it knows? Just, they might get, up. they might get popped with a PDD. Before the tournament right. really starts and exactly. they disqualified. That's a good point. Who knows? I you know, know they're... They, they, they've been made ineligible because they were taking improper benefits. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah moving on to our next uh, entry, which is another derivative, or somewhat of a derivative of uh, humor, is uh, memes. Memes. Uh, I'm just going to give it to you because this is this is your team. This is a particular um, fondness for memes. It's a, it's a recent development, and by recent, I mean within the last two to five years, memes have come on the scene. You look particularly to social media, not Facebook. You go to Instagram for your memes. Memes go on um, inst- uh, the, the social media platforms like Twitter, etc. What you're really talking about is take an image that speaks for itself and then put whatever you want on the top of it that describes the scenario. And it becomes a universal, infinite possibility that people get to play off of. They become instant legends some of them others of them become uh you know what do you call them tropes or prototypes or archetypes of other memes and it's a language in and of itself but the reason why i like it the most and why i believe firmly it's on this list is its universality because anybody can make a meme anybody can create a meme and these days as you watch the internet they do and i get my news from memes because it's it's a lampoon. It's 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 totally sarcastic sometimes. <laughs> it's fantastic humor, like you said. I mean, you can't do without it in today's day and age. It's a distraction too. I mean, I get it. So, <laughs> yeah, moving on to uh, the next seed. That's gonna. It, it's another one of those. It's gonna cause a lot of controversy in this tournament. Ah. And it's mushrooms and psychedelics. Where do you play these? Like it's gonna come not into the Portobello, game. Not Portobello, not Criminy. It is. Um, it's gonna probably disrupt the the reality of the game a bit. Far out, man. Uh, or it actually might enlighten uh, itself. Uh, Take a trip. to the reality of yeah. what really is. Uh, but without a doubt, you're not on the middle of the fence probably on this um, this category and team, and you're gonna probably want to. Hope they just win the whole damn tournament. I mean, or it, you... it could be a exponential experience with mushrooms, and it, you know they probably could play the take the the, the the tournament right out the gym and just be like, "What tournament?" Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you the the game that I'd like to see is the next entry: Newtonian physics play psychedelics. Wow, that would be a mind blowing game. Well, when you figure out what comes up must come down. Yeah, you're right. Because if you get too high, you're gonna go low. That really has a little bit to do with psychedelics, maybe. But Newtonian physics, in my mind, is really the, the macro level, and it's almost religious to me. Like I said, what goes up must come down. 
If there's too much in there, the law of displacement, something's going to go out. It really plays out in all of life. It has a lot to do with synchronicity and, 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 and of, of, of the human experience. Newtonian physics, as Isaac Newton found, plenty of things play out on a macro qualitative level, but he physically, you know, created the science behind it. Yeah, shoot some pool and you'll find out for yourself. Absolutely. Yes. Next entry, I think everyone loves this as a team. Good old I was fashioned. Not gonna, I was not going to do this paper. without this one. Yeah. Good old fashioned paper. I mean, we're removed uh, from it quite a bit, but I don't think anyone Papyrus. Bates. That pirates. I mean, I mean, sitting here, I, he's keeping all this stuff digitally, and I'm sitting here with my old pen and paper, you know. And I know there's spontaneity, spontaneity that comes with paper that you don't get from electronic format. That's true, but you know, you didn't have the Gutenberg press; would have been irrelevant without paper. Uh, ancient scrolls, um, you know, just the sheer being able to take a reed or a piece of tree, you know, and make a paper. Think about currency before we had digital currency. It was bonds and checks and paper money. I mean, after coins. So, yeah, paper's, paper's a big one. And uh, it, maybe it's got its downsides, too, you know, because we've used too much paper and we've got to start recycling and trees have gone the way of the woodwork and logging and all that other stuff. And paper, also toilet paper, vis-a-vis. -vis. You can't live without toilet paper, I mean, can you? Uh, we might go to BAs. You might wipe days. your you might wipe your ass with some poison oak. You'd be up Shit's Creek. Yeah, it's prevalent in this day and age. Regardless, moving on. Restaurants and bars. We all love to eat. We all love to congregate, and the most water of us like to yeah. water our hole. Right. The water and hole. The, the local. You know, down the street. I think what it means is is it's just you know an, in 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 overall human cultural civilization, people used to you know, be in the home sphere, and then now there are places where people can go from their home to a local to congregate with other humans on the same wavelength and then come back. Now, now I'm not saying they're in the same, you know, thought, whatever. They don't, they don't have the same uh, beliefs, but everybody's on the same wavelength. They want to go and be merry. They want to go and celebrate. They want to go and stuff their faces and gorge themselves. Generally, a good time place. And I think this is a uniquely human construct because certainly you don't see, you know, any other animals being chefed up and, 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 and being served. Absolutely. The casual beer. place to congregate. Yeah, and where to, everybody uh, knows your name. Enjoy uh, your, your fellow man. I like this woman. seat as evidenced, you know. Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time at restaurants and bars. I am not a restaurateur, but I am a bar goer. Yes. Likewise. Yes, our next entry on the list is sailing. I sailing. love this. They, before uh, before learning yachtsman. how to really sail, we were all essentially on these little islands or bigger islands of landmass. Right. I've been actually just geeking out to uh, Vikings, which who knows like how much of it's based on true story, but. Just the fact that the, sure some Vikings people, is a true story, yeah. the uh, the TV series, I don't uh, know how. I'm kidding, uh, I'm uh, kidding. Right. Okay, but I but they get they get into a boat and just look across the horizon at nothing apparently to land on, yeah. and just we're gonna just sally forth in that direction, and we're gonna see what happens. Many men died, but we here in America are rewarded uh, Caucasian people. From the great sailors in our history, without a doubt. Right, and sailing, you know, and the act of sailing, the act of putting a sail on a mast, being able to, to, you know, it's 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 as relevant today as it was 500 years ago, as far as the act of sailing. Now, I'm not saying sailing gets you as far as an airplane or a tanker or a speedboat or this and that, but the principles of sailing, macro wise, stand the test of time. It is a time honored tradition. Uh, it's something to learn. You can learn it on a small boat, big boat. And it, it, the transportation has led in human history to the course of many great discoveries. Yeah. Sailing and one in space, of, man. Satellites yeah. sailing in space. And speaking of, uh, we're not talking about Dave Matthews' band satellite. song. <laughs> we're talking about satellites we're in space. We're talking about the membrane of satellites that, that foster cell phone coverage so that the Earth has ostensibly a membrane of satellites around it in the last 20 years. I mean, we're talking about Sputnik. We're talking about the space race. We're talking about missiles. We're talking about space shuttles. 
You know, all of this is a satellite. It's sent out of orbit. Yes. Or into orbit, but out of the atmosphere. Being triangulated at all times. Maybe except for I 1% mean, of the... You're not getting this feed without satellites. Satellite, radio... I mean, it's just a radio feed that's been perfected at some level. You don't have media without it. Satellite coverage, satellite feeds. It's unbelievable. It, it, the, 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 the sheer magnitude of it blows me away. Yes. And that they're able to put a satellite out there, and then it's, and then it's space garbage now. I mean, it's space garbage. It was a huge achievement. Now people launch satellites all the time. You don't even know about it. And if you were to look at a conceptualization of the Earth, it's surrounded by satellites. Yes. I'd love to see that. Someone should uh, make a conceptualization and light up all the satellites. Right. I'd like to see how many uh, thousands that are out there right now. It has to be thousands, right? Millions. Yeah. Millions, you think? Oh, yeah. yeah I don't know about that. So, but we will research that That's for the, I don't know. the I mean, matchups. There's 8 billion people on the Earth. Everybody's got a cell phone. I mean, for Christ's sakes, there's got to be enough satellites to figure that out. Research I'm will saying be done. Heads will be counted. If, uh, if you say a million is over under, I'm betting I'm betting a lot under okay. a million. And that's a matchup we want to find out. We'll huh? find out. We'll bring that. We'll fact check that for you. The next seed is one of my favorites. Most people... Red, white, and blue. Another one. Here. Oh, no. This is actually... No, you can talk about that one. Well, it's not, it's yeah, not. I know. We were about to skip over what I would say is sailing, Vikings, discovery, the Americas. The Americas. I'm not talking about America or America. I'm not talking about Canada. I'm just talking about the fact that somebody left Europe sailing in a direction thinking they're going to get to India and they stumbled upon a brand new level no of No one continents. is talking about South America whenever you say America. No, I'm saying the Americas. Yeah, right? I know. No one's but, talking about Canada either. Think about that, you it, hosers. But... Here's my point. <laughs> it was a whole... I mean, Marco Polo and Genghis Khan had figured out going between Europe and Asia. Africa was right there through the Mediterranean. It, it's this gigantic... It's a game changer. It's this whole different half of the globe if you look at it that way. Not northern, southern hemisphere, but it, basically the Americas is the greatest discovery that humankind had ever made. Although, except for the Amer except Native for the Americans, Americans that are already, already here. here, right? So... <laughs> so there you go. Then, then that's the, the double-edged sword that we deal with. That's the double-edged sword of all of these things. It's like, God, it couldn't have happened worse. There was a whole civilization of people who knew how to live, live in harmony within the greatest, you know, um, expanse of deserts and mountains and water and land. And, and then other people came to colonize it and turn it into something else, bring famine, disease, gunpowder, alcohol, whatever you have, all the rest of this list. Fuck that discovery. Well, I can't debate that I wouldn't be here without the Americas. The Americas. So I bow down to that. Not like fact. the Iraq or, you know, whatever. Yes. But this next team is one of my favorites. <laughs> no one has ever put this no team one in a bracket. This in Everyone's overlooked this, this a team. Huge long shot. But yeah, they, they won their division. They are, so. they are a shot. In their, it's called throwing rocks, throwing which rocks. I think. It's hard to put yourself in a position of what people were like before language, for uh, having maybe a rock hut, be, be really even before the cultivation of fire. Right. I think throwing rocks effectively and efficiently predates all of that. Um, it's <laughs> have in his bones. No scientific methods. I just love it as a wild card. I, mean, I a think it is a such. Entry. It's exciting, it's good to see, and I can't wait to see where it goes in the bracket because it's so yes. outlandish. It is, and, and yet it, like, it just it shows up in anything that's sports related these days. And, and, Plus, I think right. it was a primary way that we protected that ourselves that against rocks? all the pre predators right. at the time. There's this Plus, lot, I, It's an age-old game yeah. for kids. And to protect yourself. How about I put you in a field with a lion... And you have no weapon. But know what you'll find? You'll find some rocks. Well, might save your life. Palestinians still got to do it again. And you know, good old-fashioned stoning and, every now and, and then. And Israeli you know, stoning, right? That, um, that, that was the law back in the day. Good old-fashioned stone. Well, it still is the law. It's it is in some and, places. You know, some so. places. And speaking of the law and uh, being persecuted. Don't throw rocks at glass houses, right? If you're not going to throw uh, rocks. Everywhere is war. <laughs> unto. The philosophy. Probably the first wars were uh, fought with throwing rocks at each You're other. Right, yeah. Probably. And, and, then it, and then it was catapulting rocks, and then it was putting rocks and guns and shooting rocks, things of like that. Yes, but war 
Um, war. Everywhere, everywhere is war. Everywhere. And, uh, I mean, needless to say, we're on a perpetual state of war in America. I mean, people have been at war for centuries. It's not going anywhere. War is used as an analogy, you know, especially for sports. They use analogies like that. The war of attrition. So this the entire, war within, this the war battle within, within. This entire term is going to be a war of attrition. Yes. And that uh, that, that wraps up the, the remaining at-large teams. So those teams are shoot in. We all chose them. It was 36 to 36. After missing a few, we decided 23 were, were matched up, and the other 26 came together. And uh, we're, we're just going to rip through these last... Uh, rip roaring! 50 through us, just to even out the the but field of 64 without getting into them. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read them off. You'll know read more about at game time. Um, once again, 50 <laughs> through 64, no particular order. Alphabetical alphabet. Drum roll, class. please. We're gonna start with the aqueduct. Aqueduct should be in it for sure. Next, archaeology, dinosaur fossils. Yeah. Number uh, fifty, the fifty-second entry on here, automobiles. Automobile. Next entry, like most of these that you're going to see, derivatives of uh, things that we've already talked about. Bow and arrow. You can't have one without the other. Celebrity fame. That's a that's a unique construct for the tournament that yeah, hasn't I mean, really it's, been it's reviewed. It's totally. Yeah, I think it's been reviewed. I mentioned. That. I said you know, around love and hate, you have fame. People love to love other people's lives and people love to fantasize about how it is they also think about money and glamour and stuff celebrities and fame is a uniquely human construct yes. and, and it has a lot of cachet and another next one derivative once again computers i think we're talking about pc computers showed up in the microchip internet all Wait, that good stuff this replaced but... video games i mean video games are computers too um computers we used to take up an entire room now they take up less than the you know, yeah, uh, less than the space of a shoe. Who knows? So computers are big time. Uh, corn syrup slash sugar. What we all evil, live on evil, this day and age. Evil. And yet, addicted, addicted, addicted. Sugar is going to be everything. huge. I can't wait for that matchup because I think yes. for it to be that low, we've already talked about factory farms and mass production, GMOs, Monsanto, sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. sugar. Dun, 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 dun. Moving on to something that's not so sweet. Good old fashioned hammer and nail. Talk to Jesus about that one. Yes. Uh, next entry, we're uh, we're calling it internal practices. Call it meditation. Meditation, meditation, meditation. Yoga. They come in many forms and shapes. A spiritual journey within the yes. mind. I mean, it's philosophical. This is as close as we got to philosoph philosophy. But it's a philosophical extension, existential. I like it. They're in the biggest stance. They're here. The next one, mythology, or we actually grouped it with storytelling, derivative stargazing. You know, it's a, it's a smaller form, but um. Hey, mankind loves to tell stories. They, you know, they love to tell tales. They love to tell fibs. But you know, this is derivative of religion for sure. Mythology, Greek mythology, creating some kind of backdrop to not just the stars but to our life you know where did we come from how important are we put it in perspective yes tell a joke i don't know storytelling mythology and one thing that's no joke is the good old-fashioned periodic table oh there you go science science coming at you another pervasive entry in our world today that hasn't existed until maybe 100 years ago plastic right and it's pervasive at all get out they're trying to get rid of plastic in as many different spheres as possible because not only is it toxic but it doesn't go away but it's also insanely convenient it's convenient and you can recycle it but the periodic table you couldn't have plastics without the periodic table but i dare. Well, we're not trying to be salty in this discussion ha we had our sugar now we got our salt <laughs> pinch of salt you get a you sweet or a spice you sweet or salty who knows too much salt. Salt and pepper. No pepper didn't make it. Just salt. Sorry. Just salt. Uh, wrapping up these last couple entries, the smartphone, pure DNA. This is the newest kid on the block of all of it. But if you're anywhere these days, you see people walking right out into traffic with their smartphone. Pokemon Go. 
smartphone, train, smartphone, mm -hmm. selfie, smartphone. Yes. Is it smart? We'll wait and see about that. But that's an upstart, up and comer. I wouldn't want to face smartphone in the first round. That's for sure. And to round out the bracket, this is a sport that we are announcing and, and narrating through. And it gets in the bracket as speaking. the last seed. Isn't that or amazing? Not, it's not technically hey, the last it, seed. It's it, the, is, it is the last seed, but it's not ranked as the last seed. Funny thing about sports is, yeah, with this whole analogy, we would have been shit not to put that on the list. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that funny? I mean, sports is a mankind construct. The sport of life, the sport of competition, the Olympics are going on right now. There's always some kind of sport, internationally speaking. Some are better than others. But sports is, 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 is a panoply of... A, it's, it's, there's so many things. It's amazing. It's not yeah. football. It's not just football. It's football, too, you know? Yeah. And it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's only humans do sport. I mean, that's for sure. Well, what, what the, the Olympics started that are going on right now, as right. we speak. In around the time of Christ, right? So, well, no, they started with the Greeks, you know. The that, Greeks. The, but how many? It wasn't like hundreds of years before Christ, right? Okay, I well, think something it, along I think those it was lines. around Christ. But the Greeks, you know, they had the Olympics, but the Olympics were something, some kind of go the the Greek gods had something to do with it. I mean, People like to compete. We want to see who is the fastest, the strongest. It's uh, it's interesting. It's fun to to be involved in that as long as you're not the douchebag. But it starts at the win. smallest level. I mean, kids. Yeah, they teach you. Hey, it's not how you, it's not how you win. It's how you play the game. I mean, all of us grow up doing some kind of sport. It's an activity. It's something to be about the human experience that we are animals and that we are, you know, a being that we need to get out and thrive. We need to get out and sweat and and churn and do all this stuff and then they create games. I mean. Is it a sport? Is golf a sport? Is NASCAR a sport? Those are discussions for a later time. But sports belongs on this list. Yes. So that wraps out the 64. 64. Holy moly. My that are in. And as we mentioned before, this is not a 64 team tournament. It's 69. a 69. So we have the last five to get in. Yeah, which we're going to you, broadcast to you live in this moment. This moment. Of who gets in. The last five in. The teaser that you've been waiting for. So these are the final considerations. I'm just going to read them off. And then me and Hall are going to debate which, uh, which five get in. Let me read them off. Airplane. Hemp. Solar power. Bible. Horse rating. Space travel. Cancer. Human genome. The DNA. Spearhead. Carpentry. Pasteurization. Suspension bridge, chess or card games, politics, tobacco, civil rights, railroad, trade routes, cotton gin, refrigeration, tribalism, fashion, rope, video games, windmill, social media, fishing, Genghis Khan, Socrates, writing, or OMG GMO. That's a mouthful. I think that was what? That was 39 other 31. ones? 31. 31 that we had. 31 extras that didn't make the cut. So we had the high, we had the low, and then these are going to be no-shows for the most part, for Christ's sakes. Yeah, these are the no-shows. As amongst a lot that didn't even get into the final Isn't consideration list. There's some real shit right there. I mean, if you had to create a list just with that, you could get a feeling. I mean, we could get by with that, right? I mean, humankind. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe without fire and without the wheel, we'd be shit. But that's a pretty great list right there. Yeah, you, I mean... Airplane getting a, a metal structure into the sky, absolutely. Not just metal. I mean, think of that's not how Orville and Wilbur did it, but I mean, <laughs> even Leonardo da Vinci. I mean, man has always been wanting to fly. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, so. yeah. The Bible with its reaching, is it going to get in without being on? I mean, it's pro religion will probably pick up the Bible if it doesn't get in as yeah, its I mean, own, own scene. But and I, like I said, if you can put the Bible in there, you got to put Star Wars in there because it's an equally a biblical. Tailing, yeah. telling of a that's galaxy your, far, far away and a long time ago. You well, that's know? your fault for not putting it in there. It's totally my right. fault. Totally. But like you said, we've got, a, we've got a surplus of ideas for this show. And we've been waiting this long to bring it to you. And the real fun is yet to be done because we can't wait for these matchups. The seeds from 1 to 16, placing them in a bracket and just play the game already. Yes. But these teams uh, are going to have to play. They're going to have to play an extra round. It's right. Talk about war of attrition. Right. These, uh, these teams, if they get through... 64 spots are already spoken for, so a couple spots are going to have to get butted into by a few of these teams. Just, we're throwing some entropy, a little chaos into the 64 team bracket. Yeah. Yeah. 
So uh, we, we pre-picked a couple teams out of here each, right? I mean, I have an idea of which ones I think, you know, stand, but we're just going to have to argue it out. I mean, I got four, four or five here that I think. Yeah, I don't know. Like, mine out of the list are, uh, I, I like Bible Steel, I like Space Travel, um, Chess slash Games. Solid, sold. Chess Games gets in there. Okay. All right. So, so we're, we'll put chess. We've agreed upon that one. Chess and chess card games. Just think about poker or chess, maybe backgammon. I mean, these are games before video games. So maybe that just takes video games right out of that because, you know, these days, and chess is a game that uses your head, but you're also thinking about parlor games or crafts or, um, you know, uh, blackjack, things of that nature. I mean, I'm, I'm extrapolating here, but all of these games are time, uh, you know, immemorial. Checkers, Chinese chess, um, mahjong, all that stuff I would include on this kind Go. of gaviot. Go. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So we got one, one, one of the last five in, and it's fun. It's games. You know what the fuck. Um, why don't you throw a couple of yours out? We'll I'll, I'll see how I, I respond. I, I mean, tribalism vis-a-vis -vis politics, I think, is huge. I think that is something that we don't like to talk about. In fact, I'd like to distract myself with sports before politics. Politics started with tribalism. It started with us versus them. Then it started with a Congress trying to get people on the same page nationalism, the idea of America or France or Brazil, is all part of tribalism. I think that that's a great idea. I think it's very, very close for me. What, what else do you have? Well, I've got two more. I think fishing, I can't imagine how we had all of this out there with sailing and agriculture. You know, we didn't necessarily do hunter-gatherer. Fishing to me is like, it, it. not only is it a recreation, but it's a survival technique and it, it helped man get as far as it you have whole societies like japan that survived on fish you have a story from the bible in galilee about fishermen who couldn't get any fish i mean the fish thing is, is a big deal maybe both not. of those i know one of those teams gets in for me okay what's your what's your third one that you have um jengis jengis khan you're you're putting them in the list well i mean if one third of all of china has jengis khan's blood flowing through them I mean, he might be one of the greatest human beings of all time just on the strength of that or an overpopulator who's a violator. I just think he's a great story. He, he, flo he flows in with some of the things that didn't make it, like trade routes. Um, you know, he was part of huge wars or a barbarian that started, you know, basically conquering half of the Asian continent. Yeah, he's a pretty big deal. And the fact that he's on this list and you mentioned him, I think I'd, I'd humor it. I'm fine with Genghis Khan getting in. Okay. That's a strong. That's I, and actually, I'm fine with tribalism getting in, fine. which is kind of Genghis Khan, but we're we're pairing it with politics. No more, no more pescatarians. We're going to so, do tribalism. We're going to do and Genghis Khan, Genghis, yeah, Genghis and tribalism. You know, like I'm looking through this list right now, Hall Row. Something the, missing, though. The the, the the thing that I'm not seeing in here is the Rotund Pelican. I don't what? know. It, it got. I think it got overlooked uh, with. Uh, it, I think it won its conference. I think yeah, they were an automatic it, bid. It was the for, children's book of the yeah. year, in my estimation. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. The Rotund Pelican, some children's fiction about a wayward bird, wayward fat bird that went all the way around the world. Great story. Great story. I mean, it's a great feat for a bird. Like, no bird, I think, has ever flown all the way around the yeah, world. exactly. It's Migrated, circumnavigating the world. That's a hell of a migration. Um, okay, Rotund Pelican. So, what about... Houses, tiny houses, the Hages tiny house, the Eddie Hages tiny house experience is missing from this as well. You're right. What do you think? You're right. I, this, it, it had a big year. It's our podcast. It had a big year. It's, it's your opus of a. It of, of was a the stepping rate. stone for. If we're not putting the podcast in, right. We might, might as well put I, the tiny house. As a matter of fact, think most of We didn't put already. carpentry, we didn't put woodworking. But those are both really like They're fine examples of, of carpentry and woodworking. You know, it's it's part of the nomad gypsy tradition of human beings, which is you know goes along with trade routes and other you know um, journeys. And we're taking it way back to building your own house with your own bare hands. Right. Exactly. Right? This is this is meta. It is meta in a, in a micro form, not only small. Wow. Uh, the Smack dab right in the middle of this conversation. We got some epiphanies. We got some latecomers. We got some barbarians at the gate party crashing. 
Eddie Hage's tiny house and our, my friend the Rotund Pelican are going to be the final entries into our 69 team. And field. I would not want to play those right. in that Upset first round. Upset City, baby. They Diaper have been Dandies. itching to get into the tournament right. for the last year. and they and, and It's not for nothing and, that it's our podcast. The hard work has paid off. So rounding off the last five, that age tiny house experience, the Rotan Pelican chess slash games, tribalism politics, and, and the Khan. biggest warlord of all, Genghis Khan. Wow. I'm parched. That's a lot. That's 69 heavy hitting humankind discoveries, inventions, paradigm shifts, or wild cards, which are my favorite, by the way. You never know. That the wild card is going to be wild. So now the best is yet to come because you folks can tune in for the action when we are going to produce the next installment. There will be one episode before right? that. No, I know, but the next installment, the action is preceded by the unveiling of the Almighty Bracket. And that's going to be a doozy. We're going to put our thinking caps on off screen, put some ones and 16s, some twos and 15s, threes and 14s. Fours and twelves, fours and thirteens, fives and twelves, five twelve, six, elevens, yeah. five, you know, well, and, and whatever. Keep, keep this uh, compelling with Seven great tens. matchups brought to you through the Hages and Hall Row High, High Low, low and, and No, no show. show. Nada, bada, da, ba, da, 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 da,